everybody, what's up? It's Friday, November 13th. Friday the 13th. Yeah, whoa. So it wasn't a scary day for the market. Hey, listen, I want to tell you that um, I called a correction too soon. All right, yesterday in my video, I know I said that uh, bullish sentiment surged to a very high level. And that's true. That did happen. Bullish sentiment in the weekly AAII survey uh, hit the highest level since January 2018. It was the largest one week increase that I have ever seen. Um, and so that I, w I was looking at that and you know I had predicted that. I said eventually we will see investors turn really really bullish the prop and so when I saw that and I saw the the magnitude of the bullish sentiment increase in that one week period I said and you know the market was very close to an all-time high I'm thinking it's a good time to start selling rallies raising some cash however early this morning I sent out an email to my subscribers uh, right around the opening of the market I said you got to shelve those plans. Uh, we're not going short. We're not looking for a pullback. The market is going higher. I told them this morning the market is going higher and I'm saying this right now and here's the reason. The fiscal flows are just, they're unbelievable. We are up 175 billion in spending already over same time last year and last year of course was a record we're up 175 billion over last year the growth rate of spending is like 31 percent year over year i mean it is surging like you cannot sell the market with that kind of fiscal pump going on with that kind of fiscal support I mean, that's just, I don't care uh, where the sentiment readings are. You know, I don't care where the put call ratio is. I mean, those things could stay at extreme levels for a long period of time when you have this amount of fiscal support. So I've rescinded the uh, correction call, the market correction call. The market is going higher. And actually, I'm thinking now with this kind of fiscal support, you know, we could stay elevated in terms of bullish sentiment for a long period of time. I mean, the, the, the bullish sentiment readings now can stay at a very high level for a long period of time. I think what we really need to see, if we're going to have any kind of a correction, is a slowdown in these fiscal flows. Let me also mention that, uh, and I have been talking about this, Corporation income tax flows. Now, those of you who have been following my videos, you know I've been talking about this, that they peaked out and they started coming down and then they kind of went flatlined. They were still up over last year, which is a good sign, but they went flatlined. Well, guess what? They're starting to pick up once again. So to me, that is an indication of sales and profits starting to pick up again after that flatline period that we just went through. And individual income tax flows, I mean, they just keep trending higher. So that means uh, wages and earnings are trending higher. Now listen, I know all this is very hard to fathom. It's very hard to accept when we see these COVID cases spiking up through the roof you know a million K over a million cases in Texas and, and California we're hitting daily records I mean it's crazy but like I've said in the past you know the spending has to go to someone and yeah it's not all equally distributed but when the government is pumping in all that money there's going to be big winners and the market is going to react to that because for the most part, the big winners are going to be big, large cap stocks that are going to drag up the, the market averages. You know, in my report, I give individual sectors and recommendations. I don't, I don't, I hardly ever do it here on this, uh, on this video channel. 
you got to sign up for the report. But anyway, I give you the macro view. Uh, I jumped the gun on calling a correction. Uh, there has been no let up in the amount of fiscal support, which is record breaking. I mean, it's really, truly astonishing. So, like, at this point going forward, I think, you know, we got to see those fiscal flows slow down or reverse. And I mean, that's a policy. That's a factor of, or a function of policy. The election has to be settled. Biden has to be sworn in. You know, I just don't see. And by the way, if they ever, <laughs> if they ever pass another stimulus now, which I don't think is going to happen because, you know, Trump, he's, he backed off on that. McConnell's not going to let it happen, I don't think so. But if they did, I mean, you would see commodity prices and gold like blow through the roof and the dollar really tank. As it is right now, those trends are still in effect. Higher gold, higher commodities and oil, a dollar going down. But if they pass another package, wow, I mean, it would just be unbelievable. So anyway, that is the update. I have rescinded the market correction call. The market is going higher. Fiscal is just way too strong, and you can't fight against that. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you on Monday. And don't forget to go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. Remember, I'm the, I'm the only one who does this, an applied approach to MMT. I take the concepts and understandings of MMT, and I use them to invest. Uh, you need to understand this stuff. You need to follow this stuff. Otherwise, like everybody else, they're throwing darts at a dartboard. Oh, COVID. Oh, my God. And it is terrible, but the market's going to keep going up. See everybody next week. Bye-bye.